Walter Jankowski was born April 2, 1969. He grew up as the middle child with his mother, father, two older brothers, and two younger sisters. He was very athletic and liked to play all sports like baseball, football, skiing, volleyball, wrestling, and many more. All young elementary school children have big dreams of becoming a fireman, police officer, or just to save the world. Jankowski had always said he wanted to be a pilot, but little did he know that he would become a part in the Air Force. He got this dream by watching the planes go over his old house in Elverson, Pennsylvania, every day and thought that they were so fascinating that he researched and eventually learned every single aircraft and its purpose. For Jankowski's 17th birthday, he got to live his dream with his first flying lesson. He absolutely loved it. When he was 23, he joined the Air Force. In this time that Jankowski served, there was one major war that he participated in, and that war was the Afghanistan War. The attacks of 9-11, which was when Al-Qaeda hijacked planes and flew them into towers in New York City, killing nearly 3,000 people, caused the Afghanistan War. The United States of America believed that Osama bin Laden, the leader of a group of terrorists, caused these attacks. The U.S. demanded for the Afghan leaders to hand over bin Laden. They would not do this, so the U.S. used their armed forces, and in October 2001, the U.S. bombed Afghanistan. It was about three or four days after 9-11 when Jankowski was assigned a job in Afghanistan. He flew from the U.S. to the Middle East, carrying cargo back and forth, getting the troops ready for combat. He was deployed in the C-5 aircraft, which is a large military transport aircraft, and his job was to run the surveillance aircraft to Afghanistan from March to October. Jankowski says experience-wise, Afghanistan was not a good time. It was very hot, ranging from 110 to 120 degrees outside in the daytime, and they had less than ideal living conditions. They lived in a tin shed with blankets over rope to separate for rooms. The rooms were about 20 by 12 feet with just a cot and a suitcase in them. There was air conditioner that kept the shed about 95 to 100 degrees in the daytime. Thankfully, most of the operations were done at night, but Jankowski also had some day shifts that consisted of sitting at a desk monitoring the aircraft and the missions that they were doing. Although Jankowski was never in physical combat, there were missiles being shot at their area constantly. Jankowski himself tells about the missile attacks. We're so remote, it's kind of like being scared of going to the baseball game and getting hit with a foul ball. Yeah, the ball's going to land somewhere in the stadium, but chances are nowhere near you. So kind of had that mentality towards it. But, yeah, I think we got fired about, they shot about 200 rockets at the base while I was there. Over the seven months I was there, they did hit a few people, but most times they missed the base completely or blew up somewhere in the dirt and didn't hurt anything. Luckily, in Jankowski's time in the Air Force, he was never in any type of crash or tragedy. Sadly, he did know a few people that died due to malfunctions during training. When Jankowski was in service, he did a lot of moving around. When Jankowski would get deployed, his superiors would usually give him a 12 to 48 hour notice. For example, he would come home from a month long mission and take his dirty clothes out of the suitcase, wash them, put them back in the suitcase to be ready for the next time he would be deployed. During this time, he would get in a bad habit of never making plans with his family because he never knew when he would be deployed, so there was no guarantee if he would be able to make it there or not. His constant house moving did not make it better. Jankowski moved nine times in total due to his service. This made things hard when it came for Thanksgiving and other big holidays. But now the craziness has stopped. Jankowski had gotten married in 1995 and has two children. He currently lives in Mongolia, Delaware, with his wife, two children, and two pets, a dog and a cat. But flying is still a part of his life. Jankowski is now an instructor in plane simulators teaching people to fly. He is very happy to still have a job involving planes. Looking back on the job, Jankowski's favorite thing about retiring is knowing where he will be from now on. 
What this means is he now does not need to worry about whether or not he will need to move or be deployed in short notice. He says it's been a good thing to finally put away his suitcase. Now he gets to see his wife and children every day, but in the service he would get deployed for seven month long missions and never get to see his family in Pennsylvania. But now he gets to see his family in Pennsylvania about four times a year. Jankowski was very brave to step into the Air Force and fight for the United States of America. But there are many more people that have put their lives before mine and millions of others, and people really need to start opening their eyes to this. Thank you to all of the veterans that have served for the USA.